this way, right? Yeah, it's this one right here. This on the green one. Okay. Shaggy's in a tough situation. It's very obvious that she's suffering from severe heartworm or some type of heart failure. Chasing her down and stressing her out in this heat could kill her. But at the same time, it's gotten so bad that you really have to do something now. Good guys, girl's best the, friend. Yeah. The other girl's best friend. Duct tape. When I heard that she had escaped from the yard on the first attempt to catch her, I wasn't really discouraged. We're gonna have to get a couple of two by sixes. I'm gonna zip tie them to the bottom of that so she can't go under there. Okay. Put a puppy pen across here. Okay. Oh, that'll be perfect. Having a Benson yard at this point is a huge advantage. Because the whole goal is this. I don't even want to get out of the vehicle at all. I'm gonna let them pull in. You know, we might whisper to them, leave the gate open, and we just wait. Okay. So once we were able to secure the yard, set everything up, the plan would be park like any other parked car on the street because, again, this dog is very aware of things. All right, zip ties. Okay. And then jumping out and closing the gate as fast as we could. My handy dandy clips. Mm -hmm. It's gotta be pushed up more. There's a hole right here. Her size can be a disadvantage because she's been able to get through little cracks in the fence and squeeze under the gaps under the fence. She can get out back there? Yeah. Um, give me that piece of metal. This is plan C. It just was a matter of me just like looking through everything and saying, okay, let's get all the holes blocked. Whether it was duct taping, zip tying, I have to get creative quick. So this is blocked. Mm -hmm. We're good. This all looks like yeah. good, secure. Okay. If Shaggy follows her normal schedule tomorrow, which is to arrive when the family gets home around three, uh, we will be here waiting. If that's where they feed her, I mean, that's fine. So if everybody followed instructions and stayed hidden and stayed quiet, the job that we did with the fence should work. Let's go back. Okay, it's gonna work. And for Shaggy's sake and for her life, I hope it really does. I feel like the smaller ones are always the hardest. Of course they are. Okay, so, okay, hold on a second, let me see. Because Shaggy has so many medical issues, I didn't see her making it much longer. <laughs> that cough is so bad, we have to get her. If Shaggy follows the feeding schedule that this family has put for her, she should be here in about 30 minutes. Park over there in that empty ditch. Park on that empty lot right there. I had Tanya and Mariah sit in their vehicles about half a block away so they could help be a lookout. I'm gonna leave this here, Mommy, because I have tinted windows, so. I can hide in there. But you're definitely gonna be in the driver's seat. Okay. And then Marcel and I parked one house away facing the house to be able to watch her and hope that she just goes in this yard and stays in there until we can close the gate. And wait All we for do her is wait, okay? Okay. I just asked the owners of the house to feed her like they do every day. Now I know how cops feel during a stakeout. Stakeout, yep, exactly. Now, if she starts to come, mm -hmm. you're gonna have to duck down because she can yeah. see through the windshield. You know? Bye, bye. Oh, there she is. Oh, there she is. And like clockwork, at around 3 o'clock, she showed up. Yeah, it's her. That's what she said. Like right, when she comes, she can't see me back here, so I'll let you. Oh, she's coming, she's coming. Take your hat off. Okay, she, so she's starting to come. She's starting to come over here. Okay. Yeah, she's on the. Yeah, she's coming. Okay. Okay. Don't move. She's coming this way. What is this? And then she stopped, and I'm like, "Are you kidding me? Whatever you do, don't move." She's looking right at us. She knows this Hummer is not supposed to be here. I'm telling you right now. Outside the fence. Okay. Oh, she's coming. She's coming. This way, don't move. Don't move. Okay. Don't move. She's coming this way. She's blocking the fence. Hold on, hold on. She's going back. And then she turned around and started to just like saunter away. Damn. I mean, she's. A smart little dog. Shaggy was literally about three feet away from going in the yard, and then she turned around and walked away. Damn. She's a smart little dog. Where's she going? Where's she, where's she at? Behind me. She's running back, she's running back towards you. Okay. Okay. It was almost like she was assessing the situation. 
When she felt like it was just her, she turned right around and went back to the house. Hey, don't pick your head up. Don't move. She's coming this way. Oh, she can't see me behind the headrest, so I will tell you when to look up. She's getting ready to go in. Just don't move. I'll let you know when you can look up. Okay, look up, look up, look up. Watch her, watch her. Watch her, let her go all the way in. Go, Mar Marcel, go. Go, 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 go. We got her, we got her, we got her. <laughs> Take a blanket. Go in. Go in. Go in. Get in there and help her. Get in there and help her. Hi, baby. Wait. You okay? You're okay, hey, baby. Maybe you should... Shaggy then went and hid in a corner, didn't even try to get out. And that's when your heart just breaks. It was sad. She was scared. All right, he's he's pretty much got her. Go help, you do. Yeah, come here. She wants you. He's picking her up right now. Just cover her head with the blanket. There, he's got her, he's got her. We got her. That poor we dog. just got her. That poor dog. You're just like, no, 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 we're here to help you. I wish we could tell them why we're there. You're all right, She's she so sick. Good girl. Look, she's fine, she ain't going nowhere. She looked at me and was like, all right, I give she's up. She's done, she's tired. I quit. You know, Marcel did a great job. He was very gentle with her and just let her know that we're there for her. I probably just don't feel good either, though. Hi. Hey, huh? She's How you so doing? sick. Yeah, she had to go to the vet. It is a huge relief to finally help her. You can see her, like, struggling to breathe right now. She's sick. She's yeah. She had a hoop and cough that. Yeah. Well, let's get her. We're going to get her in the truck, and then we're going to take all this stuff down. All right. Yeah. You poor baby. Thank you very much for Thank letting you. us. Thank you. The mats on her are the yeah. most insane thing I've ever seen. But getting her off the street was just the very beginning. OK. We need to get her to the vet, and this needs to happen immediately.